Isolation has really taught me the true meaning of this month. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very holy month for Muslims. It's all about expressing gratitude, counting your blessings. And the Muslim community all just comes together for once, which is so beautiful. Do you know what? Fasting during isolation has been surreal. I find it quite difficult in terms of not having a lot of energy to do things to keep me distracted. You're scrolling through Instagram and you see a lot of food. Positives as well, like you have more time to grow and pray at home. You know, like Ramadan isn't just about not eating and drinking. Not being able to socialize is probably the hardest part of Ramadan this year. But we have found a few ways around it. We've all driven to either a public space, a parking lot, stayed in our cars, brought our own meals, but kind of opened the doors and just had iftar. Like there's people Man, they must see it at our only see in Ramadan. You don't see them again for the other 11 months of the year. And also, thinking about Eid al Fitri, which is like the big event um, at the end of Ramadan and like socializing, knowing that's not going to happen is kind of scary. I've learned a lot from practicing Ramadan virtually this year. I've learned how tight the Muslim community is. And I've learned perseverance, I've learned patience. And I appreciate everything even more than I already did. I feel like I've learned the lesson that my home is also my mosque. I've also learned a lot of self-discipline, you know, having to sort of observe um, Ramadan by myself. So my advice for staying positive um, during this time... I think being more understanding to yourself. Everything that is placed on this world is only temporary and it will pass. Really trying to look at this as an opportunity to slow down and, and you know, come back to center. We've been through a lot, but 2020 is chaotic. During this time of isolation, everyone feels like they're being trapped. But to be free is between your soul and the mind. Freedom is between the pen and the paper. It's between your hands and the prayers. This is the most time we're probably going to spend with our thoughts and ourselves. So you might as well use that time wisely. Make the most of what you can out of this situation that we're in. We want to feel your best as soon as we get out because we are going to mess this world up. We can all overcome the situation as long as we're in this together. Um, if you want anyone to laugh, you can show them right here. Oh my days, look.